It's a very big subject to deal with, but the basic elements are that God in becoming flesh to live among us, in coming down to our level to be one of us, that he emptied himself of his voluntary prerogatives as God. It's not that he couldn't at any time call on 10,000 angels, do what he wanted, but he lived as a man. The vast difference was his sinlessness, his sinless nature, and he retained that by his obedience to the Father. But his power source for all that he did in his whole ministry was he received the power of the Holy Spirit and abide, abode in that power all the time. And the Lord Jesus, who redeems us as human beings, says, as a human being, God become man. I walked in the power of the Spirit. Now I call you to learn to walk in the same resource. Why? Because Jesus wants to keep doing the same things that he did and proliferate that through the members of his body through the reach and the touch of himself. I think theoretically most believers know this, but it is so much more true in its dynamism, its impact, in the poignancy of this reality than often we think. Jesus can't be everywhere. As a matter of fact, he can only be one place at a time. That's true. Jesus, having become flesh now, can only be one place at a time. But by the ministry of the Holy Spirit, he can be everywhere that members of his body are. Just as I can only stand here, but I can reach that far, and that far, circumference, I can reach around. I can speak and reach even a little further. Through the members of my body, I can reach further than I can just be in terms of my standing in a place. Now, in a far more elaborate way, those of us having been birthed anew in Christ, we are called members of his body so that every one of us might be called feet or fingers, hands reaching by his touch. Because, hear me, everywhere you go this week, everywhere you go is some place Jesus wants to be. And the only way he can get there is through you. Only by the replicating of his life in his people, by the power of the Holy Spirit, can there be somebody there at that place in Los Angeles this week where someone on the job is going to come broken-hearted and crushed because they found out only the day before that her husband has terminal cancer and she's an emotional basket case that needs somebody who will hear her heart stand beside her and one of you may well be the one that will be there. And Jesus wants to be there. And he can if his people will let him fill them with his spirit so that they're not just there, but they're there with the fullness of his person, presence, and power to do what Jesus would do in that situation. It takes his spirit to do that. Someplace in a neighborhood a home's going to explode with violence this week. Someplace else, a kid's going to blow their head off with crack, not a gun, but ways that leave them nearly as devastated. And there's going to be the need for somebody to let Jesus be there the way he wants to be. The fullness of the Holy Spirit is given that Jesus might replicate himself in his people. We do not come to church for casual inspiration. I hope not. We don't come to church merely to observe a tradition. We come for a refueling, a refilling. But a refilling once a week really is not a fully adequate substitute. You and I need regularly to be receiving fresh flow of the river of heaven in order that we might be available because Jesus wants to be where you're going to be this week. The amount of water going over Folsom Dam, they say, every second there's enough water for a family of five for a year. But I want to tell you, loved ones, there's a reservoir in heaven where there's a whole lot more than that, and it will never empty. It'll never be drained off. Where there's enough for every family, for every individual, for every person, forever and ever. Amen. There's all that is needed, but you need to tap in and keep on being filled with the Spirit. Could I lead you in a prayer? Say with me, Holy Father, I open my heart and hands to say, fill me freshly, today and daily. 
as I walk in your presence, acknowledging my need. I need you to help me carry the load, to release gifts, to replicate Jesus in me. Jesus, I want to be what you want me to be, a person that makes it possible for you to be everywhere I am by your spirit in me. Fill me to back down the powers of darkness that attack me. Your pressure within to resist the pressures from without. And fill me, Lord, so that everything of your glory break the bonds of darkness, bring praise to you, and the extension of the gospel so that people are saved. Through me, by your power, for your glory. Amen.